So you're thinking about moving to California, Southern California specifically, and you've been looking at a few different areas, San Diego or potentially Temecula. That's what we're gonna get into, kind of the differences of both of them. We're right here in North County, San Diego. I'm Chris Erickson. I'm Cassie Lewis. And we're real estate agents here. So if you guys are thinking about moving here, hit us up, call, text, email. We got your back when moving in and around North County, San Diego. But even if you're thinking about living in Temecula, we have some great agents up that way that can help you out and get to where you need to be. So let's jump into the differences of living in San Diego versus living in Temecula. So starting with a kind of an overview of San Diego versus Temecula, Temecula city proper is actually pretty small. If you look at it on a map, it's about the same size as Carlsbad here in San Diego. When people think of San Diego, there's a lot of different areas. You can think of like downtown San Diego, you think of I don't know how many different cities, but all the coastal cities, all the inland cities. So there's a, a very wide spectrum of, you know, where you're looking, Temecula versus San Diego. Temecula also includes a few little surrounding areas like Marietta's right there, a few other little cities that are kind of very comparable to Temecula. So, but size wise, it is very small. And the city, like I said, I'll bring it up on a map here. It's just so you could see it. But it actually goes a little bit further, kind of where the wineries are, aren't city proper, but they're considered Temecula as well. That's kind of where you get a little more rural, a little more on the outskirts of town. One reason people do think of living in Temecula is just because the price points are a little bit different, a little more affordable up there, which we'll get into a little bit. Obviously the climates are a little bit different. The counties are even different. You have San Diego County, and even though it borders it, it's kind of right on the edge. It's actually Temecula's in Riverside County. So two different counties, but some people do think it is a better spot for them and their families because of that convenience factor, kind of the, the whole structure of the city. It's all a lot newer for the most part. But let's jump into one big factor that people, if you are, let's say, working down here in San Diego and you wanna live in Temecula, that commute. So commuting is a big factor if you're thinking about living in Temecula, but you're working in San Diego, especially if you're working in downtown San Diego there it's a very very long commute and there's a big stretch between Temecula and kind of Fallbrook Escondido border that is just a long stretch of freeway with not a ton of exit so if anything happens if there's an accident any you know fires or anything like that you can really get a ton of congestion in that area there are a ton of people that commute from Temecula and Marietta though so there is a ton of traffic as you're coming down this way and then vice versa if you're going northbound in the afternoon you get a ton of traffic getting back into those communities. It's just something to think about we have a friend that is a contractor that lives in Marietta and commutes down here five days a week but he leaves super early in the morning and he finishes his day nice and early so he can beat that traffic. And Temecula like I mentioned isn't that big you have the 15 freeway kind of going right through or right when you get into town and then it kind of spreads off to the east there's a few main road 79 and a few other old california road that go through temecula and san diego being a lot bigger there's the 15 there's a 5 there's a 78 the 56 the 52 there's a lot more freeways um, but all the traffic around san diego gets pretty congested too i know my wife had a friend who was going from temecula to oceanside every day teaching and it is quite the commute next factor temecula versus san diego is the weather in san diego i'm gonna go with is the winter on this one. You have a lot of the coast. You have even the inland areas aren't as hot as Temecula. Take for today, we're in a heat wave, so it's a little bit different. I came from the coast over in Encinitas, 86. We're standing right now in San Marcos, 91. And then in Temecula, it's 101 degrees. So you can see there's quite a degrees difference, and that's most of the time compared San Diego to Temecula. Once you get kind of Escondido and kind of that same plane as Temecula, it gets pretty warm there too. As you go closer to the coast, you get the breezes. It just tends, you get a lot of the marine layer down here in San Diego. So it tends to be cooler as a whole. There is a big mountain range that runs between like Orange County and Temecula. And that is what blocks a ton of that coastal breeze that we get to take advantage of here in North County. And the difference in temperature, our, one of our hottest months is usually August. August, the average temperature in San Diego County is 77 degrees. It is 99 in Temecula. So that's a glaring difference. And it's all year round that the temperature is that drastically different. One thing about Temecula compared to San Diego though, since a lot of the infrastructure, a lot of the housing is newer. I mean, within the last 20 years, I remember driving up there. We used to go to Pachanga Casino back when it first opened many years ago. It's still there, but a lot of it wasn't built out. Now you drive down the main drag and it's just like shopping center, shopping center, a uh, new-ish or a newer master plan community. That's kind of how that whole set, that whole area is, just a big master plan community for the most part until you get out into the rural sections. But most of those new houses, since they are built relatively newer than a lot of San Diego, uh, 
are gonna have that air condition. So since San Diego and Temecula are so drastically different in size, it's a little bit hard to compare kind of that food and drink scene, but as, as a whole, Temecula has a lot more chain restaurants. There are just, like Chris mentioned, there's a lot of new shopping centers, and in those shopping centers are mostly chain restaurants. There are a couple of really cool local spots, especially like in Old Town, Temecula, uh, where you got some cool like one-off local restaurants, bars, um, but there are a lot of Yard House, which is one of my faves, <laughs> but there's a lot of those type of places places in there um, within those shopping centers. So here in San Diego, we are obviously known for our beer country here. Capital of craft yep. right here in San Diego. Exactly, so we have a ton of breweries. We've got a couple of wineries sprinkled around the county, but not a ton of them. When you go to Temecula, it is the Southern California wine country. It is, there are a ton of different wineries up in Temecula. And that kind of whole little section, there's some really good spots. I um, mean, it definitely has that Napa feel, like where it's big estates, it's big vineyards, it's big wineries where you've got awesome tasting rooms and everything. It is really a huge bonus of living there if you're into wine and that's right in your backyard, that is a pretty cool thing. And up there too, with all the wineries and stuff, they do have like wine events, they have a balloon festival, they have like a film festival out there. So they do incorporate the wineries and stuff into some of those events. It's just also fun to go grab some tasters, grab some friends. We've done party buses up there for birthdays and stuff, cruise to a few different wineries and then head back down to San Diego. So you can also hit them from down here or staycations up there or vice versa. If you're living in Temecula, you wanna come down, live at the beach for a little bit, do a staycation down here. There's plenty of spots to do that. And just like Chris said, like we live in North County, it's about a four 40 minute drive to Temecula from where I am at in San Marcos. In the past, we've gone up there a bunch. We had, we're part of a wine club up in Temecula. So it is very accessible from here if you want cooler temperatures and kind of that North County feel, but want to access Temecula, be in this kind of North County section and you can get there pretty quick. And then back to kind of Temecula versus San Diego food scene. Like Cassie said, uh, San Diego is much bigger, so there's a lot more options. Every city has basically their like downtown center, a lot more of that local vibe, local flavors, kind of one-off restaurants all over the place. Downtown Carlsbad, downtown Encinitas, downtown Escondido, San Marcos doesn't have so much of a downtown. Little places sprinkled here and there, but most of the other cities do. So if you do want kind of that restaurant vibe, San Diego is probably going to take the, the win on that one. And from a road trip standpoint, you've heard us talk about this a lot. There's really great spots you can get to from San Diego, but Temecula puts you just a little bit closer to a lot of those things, that 45 minute to an hour uh, closer to Vegas. It's really close to Palm Springs, which is just over the hill from it and Palm Desert and all that um, in the valley there. It is quicker to get to LA, um, especially kind of the east portions of LA if you're looking at trying to get there. And it's even a little bit closer to Big Bear Mountain, which is a good local spot for skiing and snowboarding. And then Mammoth is 45 minutes to an hour closer too. So there are some definite benefits just being a little bit closer to some of those cool road trip and amenities. And if you are thinking of San Diego because you do want to live that beach life, obviously there are a ton of beaches. If you're living in Temecula, it seems relatively close, but back to that commute, it's going to take you, it's going to be a day event going down to the beach, maybe the Oceanside, Carlsbad, probably the closest, just straight shots down there, but it's going to take you a while to get down there. You have that whole drive home. So like we mentioned, maybe a staycation or something, or kind of make a little, well, you're going to have to make a full day out of it from Temecula. And then one of the most important factors that people look at when comparing the two is the housing prices. And so the median housing price, August, 2022, was about $150,000 difference. San Diego was about 875 and Temecula was about 725 detached homes. That includes all of San Diego. And like I mentioned, Temecula is that kind of that smaller footprint area. All of San Diego is huge. It's including all the inland areas, it's down south, El Cajon, Santee, Escondido, which are relatively cheaper compared to the coastal cities, uh, Carlsbad, Encinitas, even Oceanside, which does kind of butt up against some of that. And then Vista sits kind of right in the middle. So as you take it as a whole, definitely the coastal regions are much more expensive than that. But once you get a little bit further inland, they're kind of on par, but you still do have a significant difference in housing prices between Temecula and San Diego. And so like Chris mentioned earlier, the difference in age of homes is definitely different um, where we have a bunch of master plan communities that are newer here, but as a whole, there's a lot of communities that are older. So if you are looking for a little bit more of that track neighborhood, a little bit newer and a little bit more affordable, Temecula is gonna be a great option. But if you're looking for kind of either smaller footprint or a little more character, there's gonna be a lot more options kind of in this North County area. And if you're thinking about moving to any other locations here in Southern California, we got 
other videos pop it up. And if you're thinking about moving out here, definitely get in touch with us. Call, text, email. We've got your back when moving to North County, San Diego.